morning. Welcome to Strawberry Land. You can't see it. Oh, just a dot on the map. Ah, finest strawberries this side of the rainbow. The personal strawberry patch of Miss Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> she lives in a shortcake. Now that sounds like fun. And she tends to a farm through the rain and the sun. That's Custard, her calico cat on the floor. But uh, we'll let them both sleep for just a dream more. Now, there's lots of other little berry folk. <laughs> Shucks, they're all sleeping too. We'll meet them later. <laughs> Somebody's awake. Yep, it's that honorary, mean, and miserable, silly old sneak, the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yatta da 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 da. Away, berry birds! Steal me berries! I need berries for my pies. Berries! Oh, berries! <laughs> He better not try to spoil this special day. What's so special about it? <laughs> Just you wait and see. <laughs> Boys and girls, moms and dads, brothers and sisters, cats and dogs, welcome to the world of Strawberry Shortcake. Who sleeps all night in a cake made a strawberry wakes up bright in a cake made of strawberry living right in a cake made of strawberry strawberry shortcake wouldn't you know who sweeps her floors in a cake made of strawberry plays outdoors of a cake made of strawberry games and chores in a cake made of strawberry strawberry shortcake wouldn't you know it's love that makes her garden grow with lots of pretty berries in a row she greets each day with a berry glow. She's strawberry shortcake. Wouldn't you know what's it like to stay in a cake made of strawberry? Work and play in a cake made of strawberry. Learn the way of little Miss Strawberry. Strawberry shortcake. And you will know. Strawberry shortcake says you'll know. Well, guess it's about time for everyone to rise and shine. My goodness, it's late. It's very late. Wake up. Oh, sometimes I wish I had an alarm clock that didn't oversleep. Wake up, Custard. Oh, guys. I said, wake up. <laughs> My, what a face. That's no way to start the day. You'll never understand. If you want a sunny morning, you must give the sun a hand. How you ask is very simple. Show some grit, show a dimple. Turn that frown upside down. Upside down. Bravo! A smile that's worthy of a clown.
Kate doesn't realize is the peculiar purple pieman is watching her every move in his magic pie tin. <laughs> well, everything's very wonderful, eh? She doesn't suspect a thing. The perfect time to attack. Berry bird, away! Give me berries for my pies! <laughs> Say I didn't warn you about him. Well, appears as though everybody's up by now. Lots of work to do on market day. But just look at that huckleberry pie. Loafing again. Today's too important for such goings on. Have you forgotten? It's Strawberry Shortcake's birthday. I didn't forget. Did you get her a present? Did you plan a party? I'm getting around to it. We'll get a move on. Okay, okay. Come on, Pupcake. We gotta see Blueberry Muffin. Shortcake's birthday? I plum forgot. You sure do forget things lately. You're right. Well, let's get plum pudding and plan a party for her. Oh, come on. I think I know just what to do. I'll calculate, conjugate, equate and equalize, and come to the conclusion that the party be a surprise. A surprise party? Is somebody having a birthday? Come on, let's find raspberry tart. A party for shortcake? How old is she? Six. I think she's seven if she's a day. Party, when will you learn not to say what you think till you think about it a little more? Apple dumpling! Why, honey, what are you doing here? Did you forget she can't talk yet? She writes me notes only I understand. It says, let's give the party at Lilac Park. Great idea. Good thinking, Apple Dumpling. Oh, did Dumpling think of that? <laughs> hey, down there. It's high noon now. Whew. About as high as I climb. And noon means lunch. Eating time! Lunch time, Custard. I'm hungry. Aren't you? No. You don't want any lunch today? You have another appointment, you say? Escargot? Ooh la la, chérie. I forgot. Mon dieu. I, too, have another rendezvous. Lunch? Nope. I'm going fishing. I plum forgot all about our lunch date. Bye. You both are busy? <laughs> now, the reason all Shortcake's friends deserted her was they had to set up her surprise party. And they brought a pile of ice cream down near as big as ice cream Sunday Mountain. But one thing they couldn't do was decide on the proper gift. We'll just have to send out a spy to find out what she really wants. It's all up to you, Lucky Bug. Ah, I'm a 
little old peddler, quiet and meek. But under it all, I am still, so to speak, the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yatta yatta da 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 da. Aha, a customer. Why, bless my soul. Well, if it isn't strawberry shortcake. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Peddler Man? What are you peddling today? Watering cans. How pretty. This watering can is a magical pot. Now it's empty. What? Now it's not. <gasps> oh! Abracadabra. It never runs dry. I guarantee strawberries seven feet high. It's wondrous. It's magic. It's nifty. For others, ten bucks. For you, seven fifty. I'm afraid it costs too much for me. Egad. Eh, eh, eh. B birthday present, you say? What a splendid idea. Lead the way to Lilac Park. <laughs> Here's the money. We all pitched in. You won't regret this purchase. <laughs> Just go on. Hey, down there. Your friends didn't desert you. They were all over in Lilac Park. Why? Just go take a peek and see. Okay. to give the present. For our best friend. Happy birthday. What can it be? I wonder. The watering can. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love you all so much. Aren't you a little old for those things, dearie? But it's magic. Look, it's empty. But when I tip it, How do you stop it, Shortcake? Just tip the can back up, I suppose. Uh-oh. Didn't work. Maybe it takes a magic command. Water, stop! The way to stop it scientifically is to cap the spout. Bring a leak. <laughs> the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yeah, ta 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 ta. He tricked us. What do you want from us anyway? Berries, berries. Understand? Every last berry in Strawberry Land. <laughs> Well, they had to take the pieman's deal. Every last berry to the last berry peel. 
They picked them and plucked them and dried them and tucked them in boxes and baskets, and then they all trucked them to Porcupine Peak on rafts made of flotsam. He wanted some berries. By golly, he got some. Uh-oh, looks like a stowaway. When the waters receded, they fell with a thud. Found their proud homeland was homely as... Mud! Where's the Apple Dumpling? Gee, she's gone. Apple Dumpling gone? She fell asleep in one of the berry carts? And now she's in the Pie Tin Palace? I guess we'll never get Dumpling back. Now, hold on. I haven't given you your birthday present yet. A present won't help. This will. It's a magic wish. Magic? Uh-huh. Now close your eyes and wish real hard. I wish for someone strong enough to stand up to that pineapple. Someone as strong as that tree who frightened the birds this morning. But I'd need a whole army of trees to defeat that pie man. Then an army of trees it shall be, at your service. Hereby surrender and promise to be a good guy from now on. You surrender? You want me to sign that? Never! <laughs> uh, oh, oh uh, well, uh, upon due consideration, however, uh, he surrendered. The Pie Man surrendered. Yay! You have your berries back. Now, here's your dumpling. Oh, please show mercy. <laughs> mercy? We'll be friends with you, if you'll be friends with us. Friends? After all I tried to do to you? There's a good side to everyone. Oh? What's good about me? Well... Um... You can make pies. That's pretty good. Bring them to Sunflower Market, play regular, and we all can have a grand time. A very grand time. Oh, you, you said berry again. Uh-huh. Why must you keep saying uh, berry? It's fun to say berry. Fun to say berry? I berry talk all the day through. If you could just teach me, perhaps you could reach me. I'd like to berry talk to. Okay, I'll show you how. Goody. If a day is real hot, it is very hot. And if it is cold, very chilly. If a book is real long, it is very long. And if it is short, oh, I feel silly. Oh, no, don't feel silly. But you didn't say berry. I tried to say berry. My mouth won't do as it's told. Well, listen to berries. I'll think some more berries. On berry talk, you must be sold. Oh, goody pumpkins. Like a right cross stream on the berry boat. Her berries are extraordinary. And what do I see when I turn on TV? My favorite cartoon, Tom and Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible berry. A very fine berry. I did 
minute, I know what to say. You better stand far back. I'm just gonna roar back and barely talk all of the way. Okay, now you do it. On Halloween night, I am very scared. The very bad guys I can't dismiss. And what do I say on Christmas Day? We the Merry? Yeah, Merry Christmas! Oh, wonderful! <laughs> You've learned to say Merry. Oh, I love to say Merry. Then I'll be your very good friend. We'll bury together. In all sorts of weather. Very good, good friends, friends to the end. end. We'll, we'll bury together, together in all sorts of weather.